What's up, Pisces? I am back with another one, okay? Here to deliver you this message. One of those messages being that abundance is your motherfucking birth, right? Okay? And if this is where you click off, baby, at least I got to speak that blessing over you. And I'll catch you in the next one, hopefully, all right? For those of you staying to collect your messages, because it is your message, baby. It is exclusive always to the listener, not the tarot reader. Thank you. Okay? I thank thee. <laughs> Honestly, I'm so thankful, so honored, and so blessed to be reading for you today. Um, I speak the same level of appreciation that y'all show me back into your world, okay? Wherever that's needed, your family dynamics, your social settings, your love dynamics, where, wherever it is between you and your kids, I don't know. Okay, maybe a dog needs to appreciate you more, okay? <laughs> okay, by the way, tell your fur babies I said hello. Um, drop, ooh, drop a fur baby name in the, in the comments. I would love that. I want to know your little fur baby names. Yes, yes, yes. And if, maybe they don't have fur. Maybe it's a turtle. Maybe it's a fish, baby. Let me know. Let me know. Anyways, um, today is Sunday, October 20th. I hope that you've had a wonderful weekend. And if you want right now, while I'm, um, checking my cards for reversals, go ahead and put your headphones in or anything you need to go, to go ahead and focus on the reading. I do read reversals. I just prefer for them to come out based off of intention rather than probability. If you come across another tarot that does this any differently, which more than likely you do, that doesn't mean that they don't commune with the divine, okay? We only fix other people's crowns on this channel. Highly recommend you only fuck with people who do the same, all right? Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, angels, ancestors, and guides for these wonderful messages we're about to receive on behalf of the Pisces Collective, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, to whom I am a part of, but this reading I am not. Please remove my energy out of this as usual. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, Holy Spirit. All right, let me clean, clear some energy. We ring the bell to clear energy. We also ring the bell to call energy forth in case you're ever wondering why is a bell used in any, sort, any form of divination, okay? If you have been wondering about cleansing your home without smoke, I would look into oils, okay? So like um, oil diffuser. I would also look into bells and, um, oh my God, I can't believe I'm blanking on it. I have at least five myself. Sound bowls, sound bowls. Yes, yes. Look into it, baby. Look into it. Yeah, there's so many other things you can do instead of using Palo Santo or a smudge stick of, of some sort. Definitely, definitely. And if you use a smudge stick, yes, open your windows. You need to, you know, the, especially if you have pets and stuff, okay? Please, and the whole point of, of opening windows when you smudge is not just to not trap that smoke in there for safety purposes, obviously, right? But also, so that way you can, whatever you're cleansing and wanting to clear out, where's it going to go if the windows are closed? Hello? <laughs> Hello? All right, that's for somebody. <laughs> Anyways, let's go ahead and get into the message. I wonder what's going to come out today. Maybe it'll be a short message. I don't know. That's fine. Oh, hello. Ten of Swords. Ooh. I want to know. I want to know. I was about to sing that song from Tarzan. I want to know. Can you shout? Remember that song? <laughs> that that whole soundtrack ripped, boy. I was a little girl just just, just blasting. What is he, Phil Collins is his name or something? Man. <laughs> Let's get three more cards on this. Three more cards. My Pisces, my goofy side, my Pisces goofy side is peaking right now. All right, let me get two more, two more. I am a Pisces son for anyone wondering. This came out. No, this came out first. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Oh, Pisces. Oh, wow. Some of y'all have ended something. You ended something, and if you didn't end a relationship recently, you've ended thinking about someone. Like, for real. You've been actually making it an effort, like a conscious effort, to not think about someone anymore. It wasn't a love option. There's something in my, in my eyes, so I'm over here while I'm talking to you. <laughs> Pulling up my eyelashes. Um, there's someone, there's someone that you, um, replace, not replace that you're, you are mentally replacing with 
better thoughts, better experiences, new memories. You know what I mean? Because this was dead, okay? This person either stabbed you in the back. It's a combination. No, no, no. It's a combination. They stabbed you in the back and also you... Um, you you self-sabotaged a lot and and did engage in self-destructive behavior and it, it honestly it's not because that's who you are at your core this is this has everything to do with environment guys and exposure and so i would really have to protect ourselves from the energies that we um that we invest in that goes without saying though come on now i'm not going to mother hen you on that and then we have the um ace of coins here so i'm seeing here that you kept giving to this okay because after this is the nine of wands you kept giving to this. You were in a cycle. Tens and eights in tarot are about cycles. Tens are divine. Could be a lesson, could be a blessing. I prefer blessings over lessons. You know, we take them all the same, but <laughs> this was a lesson that was being showed to you over and over again. Could have been through different people or one person, okay? Um, I am sensing for some of you, it could be a series, like a pattern of, of this. Or it was one or two people where these were like really intense um, connections. You know, it was it was this overwhelming and heartbreak um, and grief. Okay, and so you kept giving to this, like, hey, take my offer, hey, take my coin, or even keeping yourself available for that person, available for that sort of connection. Which, come on, that we're we got to be always be against that as well. Then we have the nine of of um wands here the nine of wands is letting me know that you put so much effort into this just like this person did into this fence look they put all this effort into that fence the fence is fucking is is crooked and everything they did it all themselves their ego is bruised now because they put all this investment into something kept giving to something that just did not work you have walked away from this look at you look at you now pisces Empress, male or female, Empress energy all fucking day. And then this is the Pisces card in tarot, at least, um, or representative, okay, of, of Pisces is the moon card, okay? This also shows it's a path unknown, the path least taken, okay? Because <laughs> that's what Pisces be doing, okay? We be keeping it spontaneous. We be keeping... <laughs> Sometimes to our horror, we, we really like surprising ourselves. <laughs> no, but seriously, you just elevated. You have, so I'm talking to a Pisces who you have come out of a, a cycle of thinking, overly thinking about someone, obsessing, waiting for someone, or continuing to offer your, your coin to someone that they're nowhere to be found. I mean, look at this. Look at this. There's no one in these, these pictures. It's just you. See what I mean? There's, what what camaraderie? What growth? What and and of, and look, of course, the only beautiful card is you giving, right? Because your love is unconditional, beautiful. Crossing this energy is the Cancer card, the Chariot card. Listen, this is the fastest moving energy in the deck. There is something coming your way, if not a Cancer themselves. And if you're wondering to yourself, oh God, I hope it's not that one Cancer. No, I right, let's listen. Listen, something is being replaced in a good way. So if by coincidence, there's a cancer in your life or th or when you think of this situation here, you think of a cancer, then this would be an, a whole new cancer sign. I just really need to put that out there, okay? Because I don't like it when people turn my message into something it's not. I never say place my messages where, they, where you want. No, place them where they go. And if they don't go, don't try and make it fit, okay? That's how you can create delusion for yourself by hearing too many tarot readings at, at once okay just want to put that out there for someone let's see what's coming to you pisces because this is i love this for you that you've decided i'm not giving to this no more this hurts why am i in this cycle and this might have happened more than once but now you're like that's the last fucking time i'm never doing that again you know but regardless now you're in this empress energy you have let go of this this is amazing and if you just broke up with them I mean, you broke up with whoever this is or are divorcing whoever this is because you know that this is this is stifling. This is your your growth, your progress, your purpose in life. This is suppressing you. You keep giving, 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 and this person just takes, takes, takes. They're verbally abusive, mentally abusive, neglectful, something. They, it's It just, I'm so glad you're walking away from this. Whoever you are, I stand with you. I truly do, okay? All right, what is coming to Pisces now that they have let go of this, that they're trusting the universe and saying, this is not a match for me. 
I am going to choose the path that works for me and trust that the universe, that God and my team has something better for me. And not just that, but what is truly meant for me. Okay. Hello. Hello. I speak that over you. Hello. I don't monetize this channel for a reason, y'all, because I, I just, I want to love on y'all. This is how I honor my Pisces sun sign. All right. What is coming to Pisces? What is coming to Pisces? This is juicy. Ooh, we got the 10 of, of, of swords. It's a lot of confirmation on what you've been going through. What you've been going through, crying at night, maybe even being in your, your bed. Maybe you've been single for a really long time and you're like, I, I'm, I'm so tired of this. I, 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 I want someone to share a home and a bed and a life with, you know. Wow, Pisces, I'm so sorry. I really am. It's heavy, the energy that you've gone through, that you have had to take yourself out of. And you fought through and you've won out. Honestly, because look at what's... Oh, come on. Okay, show me what's coming to Pisces. Focus. Oh. Ace of Swords. Okay, okay. King of Wands, hello. <laughs> Someone with uh, big energy, big energy is coming forward. <gasps> King of Pentacle, oh my God, Ten of Cups. Listen here, listen here, listen here. Boy, you went from this Ten of Swords here and you came down to this Nine of Wands. And that nine of wands pushed you, you know what I mean? This, and then we got the ten of cups here. It's like you had to come down from something, reassess in order to climb back up. Because we have the nine of swords here confirming who I'm talking to. If this has ever been you, or if you're feeling now like this is you, or coming out of this because you've been thinking about someone for so long. Again, this could be a recent breakup or a divorce or something. This is you. This is a confirmation here on my message. Then we have the page of um, swords. Page of swords. This is this is about incoming action. This is someone coming in. There's there is a need for this sort of energy to come into your life. Someone with a soft yet assertive energy. Soft with you, assertive in life, is what I'm hearing. To treat you with the gentility that you are deserved. And it's not because you are some prissy wounded child that is, deserves to be spoiled. No, 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 no. It's because abundance is your birthright. And this is going to be someone that pours into you as you should be poured into. I was just talking to a client recently. And I talk about this, I think, in other readings and with other personal readings. But when it comes to loving other people... Um, not everyone is ready for that. It takes responsibility because, and also you got to take your ego out of it because in order to love someone properly, in order to love someone unconditionally, which I will say Pisces has this pretty down pack, but maybe some of y'all need to hear this to start recognizing it in others. Okay. The way Pisces loves and the way someone should love is the way that person needs to be loved. Not the way you think they should be loved. This applies to children and it applies to lovers. That kind of care and attention to detail. Hello, I can I can already sense it in me talking. That's it. Some of y'all are like, woo, say it. <laughs> because it's the and that's how Pisces tends to love. That kind of detail, care and attention to detail in knowing what that person's needs are. You deserve the same. Someone is coming in here. And is, is not going to ever allow this to happen to you. Okay? This is kind of energy, energy they got. Big energy. Mm. Big energy. King of Wands. King of Pentacles. This is a, assertive and authoritative. But when it comes... Notice that this energy, when it comes to what you've gone through now, it's not that this person's going to come and wipe all your tears away. But when I tell you they're going to come in and clear away all the cobwebs. Okay? All the moths, they're gonna, they are going to come through and, and, and sweep out the darkest corners of your heart. The parts that, are, that even you thought were not being neglected, you, this person's going to be able to shine light on and say, I got you, baby. I'll take care of this corner over here. 
<clears throat> I'm getting chills. I'm getting chills. Crossing this energy is the Ten of Cups. I'm getting so many messages about this. This will be someone that will give you children, you will have children with, you will have blended family with, or if neither one of you have children or want children, okay, which, by the way, I don't want to hear nothing about, oh, blah, blah, no, I don't like that, okay? We fix only, we only fix other people's crowns on this channel. There is a family of two out there, okay? That's beautiful. I think it's beautiful. Shit. I look at my parents. Listen, even my parents hadn't had um, me and <laughs> my sibling. Um, they've been happily married for 42 years. Yeah. It's ridiculous. They're like stupid in love. Actually, shout out to my parents because they, they're going to complete 42 years um, literally in two days. They're just stupid in love with each other. You know what I mean? So I don't know. I just I need to let y'all know that that's a real thing. And my mother is 12 years my father's senior. Hello. <laughs> She's a Pisces too. Um, all right. So we got this Ten of Cups. This Ten of Cups is really beautiful. And come on, remember I talked to you about cycles, blessings, and lessons. You have come out of the lesson. You have learned things about yourself, especially boundaries. Boundaries. You always knew what your worth is, but you weren't aligning yourself with the people that would like compliment that you were aligning yourself with people that you would hope would eventually compliment that level of love. And that's just not a thing, baby. That's not a thing. All right. Alignment is not in and out. Alignment either is or it's not. This person will be in alignment with you. They will. They are coming in to, like I said, tend to you in ways that you didn't even know possible. Or for some of you, I'm hearing I just want, I, I'm the go-to person in my life. I want that for myself too. I just want a little bit of that, <laughs> you know, that uh, that special attention and care to detail. And remember, if you're asking somebody, and I, I see here that for some of you, you were asking that of that other person and you finally learned that, hey, when I ask someone, when I tell someone what, I, what my needs are, if their answer is no or wait, or I'm not sure, you're asking the wrong person. There is a hundred percent, one hundred percent fact that there is someone else that for sure would say not a problem that you wouldn't even need to bring it up to. Tap into it, believe it. All right, we only accept the love we think we deserve. Huh? Don't do that, you know. <laughs> Level up. <laughs> really think outside the box on on what you're doing there for some of you. Okay. But for a lot of you that this message is for, you've done the work. You've come out of this. I love that you pulled yourself out of this, this brain fog, whatever. So tell me more about this person. Tell me more about this person. I want to just know about this person. Can you tell us about this? Ooh, I love that. Five of swords reversed. No inner conflict and they do not entertain conflict. Let me, I just have to show you this. Five of wands. A little bit about this person, that King of Wands energy. Yeah, they don't do that. Even in Pisces, if you want to cause conflict in, in the relationship, they're not going to do this. They're not going to entertain it. They might listen. You seem upset. Um, let's talk when you're a little bit calmer. There's going to be ways that they can, whatever it is that you need, your communication style that you need in order to be calmed down. For some of you, there's no words. You just need a hug. Okay. This person is able to do that. This person is able to always alleviate any conflict or inner conflict. Fives in tarot are about conflict. Five of wands in particular really hints at inner conflict, okay? And also interpersonal relationships. So friends, sign up, so close relationships. These are all in close quarters, these people, okay? So either within you or your close circle conflict, okay? This is reversed. This person ain't playing that shit. They're on that king of wands energy. Boy, they know how to lead. They know how to lead with a soft hand. They really do. They're really good at it. It's powerful. It is really powerful and subtle how this person is going. Their presence. It's, it's powerful yet subtle. I cannot express that enough. Cross the energy of just that one card is the two of cups. Do you understand? This person values the union, the love more than this any day of the week. Any fucking day of the week. They won't stand for this. They will always find a way to, 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 a better way to communicate or a better way to whatever's needed because their love is unconditional. And I, again, I can't express enough that this person is going to know what you need in order to be loved. You're not going to have to teach and coach and da, da, da. No, no. 
All right. I feel like there's someone in someone listening to this say, no, but you, you have to be open to coaching and all this stuff. Listen, if you want to take the hard way up the mountain, that's up to you. Your ceiling is not my ceiling. Do you understand? There are other ways. That's how abundant my life is. That's how abundant I think all of y'all should be thinking of your life. And you should eradicate some of these old concepts and constructs surrounding uh, hard work in a relationship. What? What? And many of you, it comes from your culture. Okay? If I know for, for me, in my culture, I have seen it. My father is Afro-Brazilian. Okay? My mother is Colombian Polynesian. I have seen it. No. It should not be that hard. It should not be that difficult. Absolutely not. If you want to compromise your the, the, the way in which you want to live, if you, if you choose to settle again, your ceiling is not my ceiling. All right. So this person, they avoid inner conflict at all costs. Ugh, what is this? Ah, the person of your dreams. This is the star card, baby. This is the star card. Come on, Brashmidis. <laughs> um, this is the star card, baby. This person is all about the love of their life and so are you. This is someone you have dreamed up. This is someone that has been in your dreams even. That maybe you, uh, there's some of you that have dreams about who your person is, what they look like, and you can't get them out of your mind, um, out of your dreams. And this person, you're they're going to manifest. That's for some of you. For others of you, you've written down on a paper, or I'm seeing uh, you tuck it in your Bible or on your nightstand or something. Some of you keep your Bible open to a certain verse or something. It might be around there. Um, you've, whenever you've taken, uh, you know, wished on a star or saw 11, 11, you always wish and say, I wish for love or I hello, hello. <laughs> Crossing the energy of just that card is the temperance card. And it's so important for you to right now actually not take in the zodiac sign associated with this I'm hearing, but what this actually, um, um, signifies this angel pour, they pouring into each other, the journey is you know, so worth it both ways. Look at this. Ah, oh, this is so this is so divine, so beautiful. Okay, tell us more about this per oh, about this person. <gasps> Page of Wands. When I tell you they've been looking for you too, baby, and they're gonna make it known. They're gonna see you and be like, uh, damn, is that Pisces? <laughs> they're, they're gonna know instantly when they find. Yep, they're gonna know instantly. And just getting a little bit more about this person, listen, I asked who this person, more about who they are. I do have Aquarius. I now have Scorpio. And yes, Temperance did come out and Sag did come out there. But it was, Spirit kept saying, hey, really need to focus on that imagery, that angel, how they're pouring into each other, that it's that sort of balance. It's that sort of love. If it's tumultuous, if it's toxic, if it's back and forth, if it's in and out, it's a no. Oh, but he or she does this, but here... Oh my God, stop settling for, for pennies on the ground. You got stacks in the bank waiting for you. What the fuck? <laughs> what are you doing, baby? Yeah, money's money, but you know what belongs to you and it ain't that. All right? It's not pennies on the ground. This is the two of, two of wands. Listen, you have both been searching for each other for a long time. Let me show you the confirmation on that. So after that star card, remember I cover for Schmitty's, came out the page of, oh, let me just focus this real quick. There we go. Is the page of, of wands. This person is staring up. They've been searching for you for so long. They feel like they want, they've always had something to give someone, but they've kept it to themselves. This could not just be their love, but money. This person could possibly even for some of you be a virgin. Um, there's literally someone that has been really reserving themselves in life for you. They knew they would meet you. They knew they would find you. This is someone new. This ain't someone from your past re-emerging as a as a as a healed twin flame or something. No, this is new. This is someone new. Okay. Page of of one. This, I mean, and look at them too. They're dressed, I pointed this out in other readings. This person is dressed <laughs> for winter gear, straight winter gear, bro. And they are in the desert. That's what I'm saying. They've always been on the outside kind of looking and being like, I'm going to find my person. I'm going to find my person. I'm going to find my person. I love the sequence of this too, of the wand energy in this reading. 
starting with the nine of wands that you had to recognize what you were not giving to. And in doing so, you brought about this king of wands energy. Someone that does not do inner conflict. They would never place this on your heart ever. And they've been waiting and looking for you. But it took for it's taking for you to let go of someone or it took because some of you this past time for you to do this. And you've been waiting too. You've been patiently waiting through yourself into your work, your school, your kids, your family, whatever, your health. You, I mean, you've really been patiently waiting and saying, I'm going to get mine. No, I know. I know God has not forgotten about me. I know. And and here, like I said, someone's coming. This is this is a huge transformation in your life. This is nothing is ever going to be the same. Whatever you thought it would be like when this person showed up, it is not like that. It is 10 times better. Whoo, hello. It is so much better than you ever thought it would be. Like dead everything you ever thought. <laughs> because this person is everything. Look at this, the two towers here. Let me show you something about these two towers. They're depicted in the in the Pisces card, in the moon card. Listen, in your imagery, I don't know what tarot deck y'all have because it really depends on how the artist chose to illustrate the different suits in the deck, okay? So just a side note that please always introduce yourself to your cards by really taking in, wow, there's a lobster here. You know, the water's not oh, going past this. There, It is under, I mean, there's different things just to take in. Anyways. Anyways, that's for someone that needed to hear that. Maybe you're looking for advice in tarot. <clears throat> this is someone you've been looking for and they've been looking for you. Plain and simple. This person is 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 about to approach you or may might have just found you. Some of you, this person just came into your life. And listen, we got Scorpio here. Listen, isn't it Scorpio season? Or it's coming up on it? Hello. <laughs> All right, how is this person going to present themselves? Can we get some more confirmations on how this person will present themselves? Now that we've got a lot on who they are and what's what's coming to Pisces and who this person is, how will Pis how will this person be presenting themselves? Because I'm a little curious, you know, timing, um, things like that. What should Pisces expect out of this connection or, or meeting, you know, the meet, the introduction in itself? What should Pisces be expecting? If you need a personal reading, guys, go ahead and get one. My email is in the bio and in the description. Um, but feel free to reach out. We got October specials, and I highly recommend getting in this week if you can, because I'm not doing anything next week, including recorded readings. It is in your best interest to do it now. I'm telling you because when I'm not, it's not this week. Um, actually, yeah, next week, next week, yes. Yeah, so the 27th through the November 1st, 2nd. You can pay for things. I'll even message you and stuff, but I am not going to be performing any kind of divination or scheduling anything with anyone. Um, it's a whole week that I'm taking off. It is a very powerful week as a spiritualist with it being um, the first Sabbath of the year for us. It's essentially the new year for, for me, okay? So um, just want to put that out there to please avoid that wait. And if you're thinking, oh, well, I'll just pay on November 2nd. Okay, you will be put in a queue along with everyone else that paid November 2nd then. When I come back or November 3rd or the 4th or the 5th, that whole first week is, I mean, there's going to end up being a, a wait list. And so I just don't want that to happen to anyone. I love a nice even flow. I will try to continue to maintain that. Um, as you know, as we approach any sort of weightless situation for sure. But again, just putting it out there. Okay. Your time is very valuable. I want you to get your reading. Like, you know, I, I don't want you to wait or be disappointed or be more anxious than you need to be. Come on. I'm Pisces. I, I want, I'm trying to avoid the anxiety for you and for me. Okay. <laughs> let's, let's go ahead and get this last message about how this person is going to present themselves, what you should expect. Because this is happening like now, okay? What you should expect. Four of coins, okay? This is within the next four months. I knew it. This is going to happen this holiday season. Five of cups. Five of cups. Ooh. Okay. These are really descriptive messages that are coming out. Oh that are coming out so you'll have to bear with me um because they all 
they all mean something different I'm seeing. Oh, so I always like to, this is, uh, this would, is upside down, right? So this, I always like to, yeah. hey, what's the crossing energy? There's something unseen here. A death. Listen, I knew it. Um, there's, for some of you, there is going to be, unfortunately, some sort of passing in your community. It's, um, this is somehow going to, for some of you, for some of you, this is not for all of you. For only a handful of you, there are, there is um, some sort of approaching um, passing of a community member or a family member um, that is going to bring the community together. Do you understand? Um, and you are going to be meeting this person through that kind of, do you understand that kind of connection? Like, um, So that's going to be for some of you. For others of you, this is going to be someone you find through work. This is going to be someone that Literally, while you're sitting at your desk, or this could be a client, this could be a, a new coworker, or if you, let's say you work on, on a big campus, right, as far as, uh, oh, it could be university, yeah, but a, a big campus, right, there's hundreds of employees there, this person is going to see you, and it's going to be like, you guys have never seen each other before, just coincidentally, like, you see each other, it's like, oh, hey, like, it, like <laughs> it's just going to be, like, magnetic, Maybe they just started working there or maybe they're, they might, they might even say, oh, I've been here for like six or seven months. You're going to be like, I've been here for like five years. And it's just because they work in a different department. Do you understand it? So there's that for some of you, for others of you, remember how I said you're leaving a marriage or a divorce or a relationship, something like that. It's literally upon doing that because remember some of you, this is happening now, this heartbreak, this Whatever you're relinquishing could be the memory of someone, attachment to someone, or an actual relationship, right? A home. So for some of you, that's going to be it. Like the minute you fully pull away from that and you do, you know, and you do what we talked about, you know, literally choosing what's best for you, Pisces, finally, and saying, I, I'm going to allow, I'm going to allow trust in the universe to bring me what I'm owed. So that's going to be for some of you. For others of you, it's going to be taking a chance. You're actually going to go on a trip, an outing, um, literally a trip, an outing, or you're going to suddenly sign up for online dating. You're, you're going to meet someone and just whoo, like the chances, you know, I'm not saying to go on and just stay on online dating. That is uh, its own cesspool. And I'm just going to leave it at that. Be very careful, please. Um, but for as many of you, you're going to be taking a chance. You're just going to be like, I'm going to go on this vacation. I'm going to take this oh, solo trip or I'm going to go with, out with my friends or, um, oh, I got invited to this social gathering. Oh, I'm going to go. I'm going to go. Things like that. Taking a chance on fate and just saying, I'm going to go. <laughs> you know, I don't know why, but something is telling me to get dressed, look good and take myself out to lunch. You know what I mean? That kind of just, woo, just, just really riding the high of life. Um, that that's going to bring you your person. Now, what confirmed for me about that one passed away person or a person that will be passing away is this four of, of swords that came out. And so this is something unseen. This is truly something that you did not see coming. You, you like this, this, this death is going to unfortunately take you across seas, overseas to see family. You know what I mean? It's something like that, that literally the catalyst of you meeting this person, unfortunately, will be someone's passing, okay? And no, it's not like some horrible, like, cost of life in order for you to get your... No, 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 come on. We, we don't do that dark shit. It's just coincidence. It really is. You're going to travel for this for this funeral or this... Someone's going to travel out to y'all for this, for this funeral. And again, you don't know this person. You don't know this person at all. And if this were to be someone that y'all know, it would be a situation that, oh, look, have you seen, I don't know, let's make up a, let's make up a name, uh, uh, posses. <laughs> y'all used to play when you were in the dirt, when you were babies and stuff, but you haven't seen that person literally like 30, 40 years. It would be that kind of situation if this person is from your past. Okay. It would be that sort of situation where this person is so far removed from your life. You know what I mean? Um, so that is what I'm getting guys, as far as, as far as that, and I can't express enough for a lot of you, it's work while you're out in the field, or they're going to come to you, to your job. Some of you, it's, you're needing to come out of this depression. So let's start showing you the cards Four of, of, um, pentacles. This is you coming out of that time and focusing some, for some of you, you're about to throw yourself into work or school. And in that time, you're going to meet someone there Four of pentacles. 
And fours are about alignment. This is alignment in your life for sure. Confirming the message. Five of cups. This person is so sad and depressed. Um, and they're so focused on the spilt here that they're unable to see this. Um, this for me was actually confirming the, the death. Believe it or not, for me, when this came out, there's something that just said there, there's going to be a death in someone's family or community um, that's going to bring this person. This person is grieving, and in their grief, there is a Two of Cups available there. A lot of times, this means some other things in other readings, of course, all the, all the cards do. But for this, I picked up on that instantly, that you're going to be busy grieving something, um, and that's when with this Two of Cups is going to present itself for others of you. This ten of one, this ten of cups is reversed because, well, you're leaving, you're moving out of a home, you're divorced. I remember I said that for some of you, that's your situation or a breakup. Even you guys never lived together. Maybe you guys have been in a breakup or situationship that was really not good for you. You were giving too much of yourself, you know, back and forth energy type shit. Um, and so that for some of you, it's this, this ten of cups. That the minute you finally walk away from this, boom, baby, that ten of cups is going to come in. For others of you, we have the 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 um the fool card here, and this is taking a chance, saying I'm gonna go out. I'm just gonna go out tonight. I'm feeling good. I'm feeling blessed. Hello, <laughs> I'm gonna take a vacation, or it's gonna be like that. That really the catalyst of you meeting this person is because you took a chance on a taking a class or 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 going like i said a vacation a solo trip a day trip of uh, taking yourself out to lunch it's, it's really nice i love this i love this and then again this was confirmation of the unknown the unseen if you rewind it it was very telling that when i wanted to this was so this is the unknown the unseen four and we have four here talking about alignment you have a lot of alignment going on in your life i, I i'm so happy for you I speak protection over that alignment, that if anything comes in to distract you, that you are able to see it immediately and eradicate it. Absolutely. I speak that over you because this is too beautiful. What's coming into your life. You deserve protection over that. Speak it over yourself too. But yes, there is someone that is going to come to pass. You might already know about this. You're like, yeah, there's, they're not going to be doing too good. Could it even be, unfortunately, um, uh, um, oh, I said that at the beginning too, fur babies. It could even be the death of a family pet. Or something. I don't speak that over you at all. Mm. For some of you, it might be something like that. Oh, that's so sad. I hope that... Mm. Anyways, we have the six of coins here. And this is letting me know, again, work. You being out in the field. You doing something. Some of you really... You do work for the community. Literally, work for the state or the county or a school or whatever. But you're going to be at a community function. Quite literally a community function. Underneath that is the fucking three of cups confirming a community function of some sort. What's crazy too that I keep picking up here for you Pisces is I hope that you recognize this person when they come in because you're so focused on yourself and other things like your money's doing good for a lot of you or you're, you're focused on house projects, personal projects, like you're throwing yourself into great healthy outlets. But I do, but I keep seeing you kind of turned around or your head in the clouds or you looking down at your desk. Some of you like to look at the ground when you walk. Don't do that. Please put that chin up. Put your chest out, okay? Um, yes, yeah, so I'm hoping that you see this person because you are so busy in life. Let me point out some of the zodiacs before we close out here. Um, we did get, we do have the full card. We do have, so that's Aries energy. We've got Aquarius energy, Scorpio, Pisces. Um, and we did get temperance earlier. Um, again, if if you hear any of these zodiacs and you're like, oh, this is someone that's in and out, or this is someone that I already know, this message is not for you. I'm serious. It's not. This is a new person. This is a whole new person. This message is not yours. I'm, don't take pieces of it. Don't don't twist my my message. I'm not giving you permission to do that at all. That's some karmic shit. Don't do that. Okay. Um, that's why it turns into delusion. If you turn a truth into something, it's not, <laughs> you know, so let me know if you need a personal reading. I like clarifying things for you guys. Like I said, don't assume that things are for you. If you know, you know, if you come this far, it more than likely you're like, I know this is going to be for me. Um, but this is new. This is new. This person, or they might've already shown up. I'm really, really excited. Anyways, I love you. I'll talk to you later. Bye.